So, welcome back to Divinity 2. The Whippers Cut on the Nightmare Difficulty, right back where we left off last episode. The last episode we cleared High Hall, um, probably all the quests uh, that are to be done there. We found the corpse of Jack Bolton and he was talking about yeah, some cave in the Oropus Fjords. So, yeah, because he was talking about it, let's maybe enter a cave for now. And this is the Morals Cave. And this will be interesting. Here we have uh, some options. Okay, let's look at And I will do the evil thing. And we got Belaga again. Belaga bids thee welcome, dragon, to his stage of moral choices. Bad rhyme. Listen and decide after hearing opposite voices. Good rhyme. Know that those you are about to meet are real, though they are not in these fjords. Go where your nature leads you, and it will lead you to just rewards. Hmm, I'm not quite sure what the different rewards are in this area. That's why I will make a save. Yeah. I really don't want to do the good part because I have to surrender a skill point and that's not Okay, it. darling. Time to give me that purse of yours, and throw in your jewellery as well. I am not your darling, you scallywag. I am a princess of the realm, and I'll not give you my gold. Now, don't be foolish, kitten. You look a lot better without my sword in that lovely belly of yours. No. You, with your strange eyes. Um, uh, nice. No dice, dudes. Um, me and Squallywag here are going to rob you and share the profits. Heartless knave. Have you no respect for a lady? No. A boundless respect, cutie pie. Which is why I won't cut your throat if you give me the money right now. <laughs> that went well, didn't it? Here's your share. Pleasure doing business with you. Hmm, let's look around. So that opened another lose. path. Let's let's go this way. Let's get our friend in here. Goblins. Nobody likes these goblins, they're super annoying. Easy as mm. that. And yeah, I'm not really quite sure what the rewards are, but mm. there, mm, but there are items, and yeah, I don't want to surrender a skill point for an item. So the deal fell through, eh? Yeah, the traders wouldn't pay the ransom. So what do we do with her? I don't know. Just kill her in the morning, I guess. No, please! Just let me go! I won't tell a soul, I swear! <laughs> sure you won't. Here, you can spend your last night staring at the key to your freedom. So close, so far away. <laughs> That's super evil. But we are evil as well. So deal or no deal? Ah, interesting. So we can pick up this key. Stranger, please. You have the key. Release me, lest the guards kill me. I'll be back at any time. Uh, no, I think I'd use this opportunity to help myself to the riches. How can such cruelty go? I wonder what happens. I've never done this uh, the evil way. So, yeah. It seems very hard this. But my name is Nightmare anyway, so yeah, I should be a nightmare to be around. Yikes. Please release us! We don't want to burn! I'll give you all my gold! And I, my precious gem. 
You have to help us. You must. I have a magic blade. It's yours. And I the dream of old enchanted. <laughs> we beseech you, please save us. We'll shower you with treasure. Death, life, death, life, death, or life. Death. Death it is. So we didn't get a reward for that. This one looks so when you see this there are like a couple of points in this game where there are some keys hidden in there. Probably not here. Moral's cave. Most sinister schemes. The reward is one of these weapons that will cause unheard of dreadful screams. Dreadful screams. Saint I'll tell you this about Belagar. In all the universes combined, a greater lunatic you will not find. Another one to add to the collection. I really can't pull that whole rhyming bit off. No, you can't, Alana. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. Let's send some stuff to the battle tower. Because what else? Not too bad. This is one of the items we can select. We can both the damp one, sort of the damp one, and Warhammer of the damp one. This would be warrior, ranger, and mage. Let's uh, pick a bow because we are an archer. And that one, two enchantment slots. That's good. That's good. Two enchantment slots are always good, and the other part ones we of course can't pick up. That would be too good. Yeah. Alright, let's leave. That's the moral cave. Done. Done and dusted. We end up over here. So, um, yeah, we learned about Druidini. Let's go to the Slayer camp down there. Was that a good drop? Probably, yes. <coughs> because we got a quest here anyway, so let's explore this area. We got a quest from him. Welcome, Slayer. Yes, it's it's an honor definitely a slayer, nothing else. No, name's Montague. Pleasure. Uh, what is that you are guarding? What is it that you are guarding? Mantry first. Must find the time to get that Druidenite a lock soon. Um, yeah. Well, behind the door lies a teleporter that leads up to our prison cell. We we'll use it to hold criminals apprehended in the fjords until they can be shipped to uh, Alaroth, Rivertown, or wherever they need to go to face. Uh, anything exciting uh, happen here lately? Well, there have been the skirmishes with the goblins, of course. But the most bizarre thing to occur was the disappearance of our weapons trainer, Kenneth. <laughs> He's dead. His friend Saul was supposed to take over this command. But then it turned out a pest murdered another slayer. Luckily, Tillian exposed the crime, and ever since then, he's been the boss around here. That seems like uh, very suspicious. Um, uh, listen, either you open that gate or I inform your commanding officer about the Druden thing. Uh, I would like to talk to a prisoner. Oh, he's off limits. Nobody sees him until the Rivertown Zeppelin arrives. 
Okay. Uh, listen, either you open that gate or inform the commanding officer about your drunenly dealings. You. You. You wouldn't. How did you. Who. Oh, bloody hell. Why, certainly. Come, my friend. Uh, of course you may see so. <laughs> Easy as that. It's stuck. Thank you. This teleporter has Camp Pompus written on it. Its destination is Camp Penitence. The control panel has been destroyed. If you control panel, it is this. This teleporter has Camp Penitence written on it. Yes, away. yes, yes, yes. We know. Short note. My mind is made up, Tillian. Next in line for my position is Saul. I'll heal no more about it. Your day will come later. That's all. Signed, Kenneth. So Kenneth, we ki uh, he died to Hermosa. Um, let's do his in, a, in his will. It would be to support Saul. What? Why are you here? Um, let's get out of here, Saul. Or. Quite a mess you're in, huh? Tillian tells me you are murdered a slayer. Let's take up to four. Tillian tells me you murdered a slayer. Lies! The man was trapped and killed by a goblin raiding party. Tillian and I killed most of them and imprisoned the others. But then he accused me of murdering the other slayer because he supposedly insulted me and said I used the goblin raid to cover my tracks. I'm innocent. But they all believe that smooth talking bastard. Uh, quite a mess in, so, uh, in her. You can say that again. I'm scheduled for execution. Mm, let's get out of here. You would free me. That's wonderful. But I can't just walk through the Slayer base. You'll have to realign the teleporter to High Hall. And how would they do that? This teleporter has. You step away. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I I absolutely don't remember how you do that. No good. But that would be very interesting. A uh, very interesting thing to do. Because I know it can be done, and I've done it before. But I don't know what quest that is. Very interesting, certainly. Yeah. Good day. Um, but there would be something interesting else uh, in this area. Locked chest, interesting. This fortress actually looks super cool. I feel like so. Yeah. Vivian, Vivian. There are some goblin prisoners in there, Slayer. We'll probably it's just stuck. burn them later. Hmm. Interesting. Hail, Slayer. Okay. Uh, so, what's this place exactly? It's just a humble training encampment. Now used to teach the few local recruits we still have the tricks of the trade. The weirdest thing happened here, though, just a little while ago. We were doing exercises when Kenneth, our, our sword instructor, was swept away by a column of light. Yeah. I don't know what foul magic was behind that, but I sure hope he's okay. He's not. Carry on, Tillian. Yes, sir. Hmm, interesting. I love the smell of burning mm. goblin in the morning. Yeah, that's Keep actually super disgusting. I am sorry. <laughs> um, I'm not quite sure where to go, but uh, first get out of these uh, anti-dragon zones, and we did. And there's another fortress in this uh, area, and that's where I want to go now. No, first. Another tree. Old looking. Let's talk to it. You have been sent to obtain seeds from Jeeverus, Lord of Harvest. But you must assist him first. How may I help you? Long have I been blessed and blesser of crop and farmer. But the Wyverns here have no empathy for the powers of ancient earth. Three of them harass.
harass me every hour. They pick my wooden arms, scar my stout trunk. Let them taste the wrath of the dragon, and you shall have the sea. Yes, these three buggers um, are going to die. I cannot take my dragon form. They will kill us. Yeah, easy as that. I can one shot them. With fire breath. Should be it. They are larger and more powerful than the eagle. Yet, like vultures, they circle me as if I were dead. Slay them, so that I may be free. Your tormentors are gone. Long may yours be the sole dominion of the skies. Here are the seeds that will nourish hungry stone. Hungry stone, yeah. Hungry stone. No good. I'll have to walk. Hmm. See the cave down there? Let's go there. Tomb Raider. Ah, and we got Laura. Yeah, I haven't found the explorers yet. Well, yeah, yeah, that's no it. Good. So we need two more. Um, I know one is in the cave. But what cave is that? Um, there's a trapdoor. Let's see that. Yeah, Arbus Fjords are such a relaxing place. There's just so much you can do here. Oh, yeah, I remember this. And I, I think that's even the right cave. You need to kill these totem masters, otherwise you can't uh, progress because you die when you step uh, through that barrier. Yeah, and kill them, the totem explodes, and we can continue. Uh, let's press 4. 4 for increased damage. Total master, he is dead. Something here, probably. <clears throat> oh, there's the key. Cool. Lock picking successful. We are over encumbered. Uh, real quick, alchemist, give him our enchantments. Uh, in, uh, the yeah, that's it. And now we, yeah, we only lost one. Close enough. Right away. And three more. So. Okay. Really quick. So if you do this melee, um, as you can guess, it will be quite interest, uh, quite difficult. Let's do a quick save. Oh my god. <laughs> and we get fully morphed instantly. What a pleasure. And one push. And it's that easy. 
Easy money. Scorpion bracelet. Hmm, who is that over there? First, let's pick up uh, this one. And this one. And this one. And this one. And probably. Um, poison 20%. Oh, chainmail, 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 crystal. Cool. Set the battle tower. Action. And let's max out HP, um, skill point. This would be blind. That's not too bad. You can blind the creature. Mm. Yeah, but uh, let's. And let's talk to him. Oh, thank you, friend. May the divine bless you. Jimmy. I was about to have my last meal, only I myself was the main cause. And who might you be? I might treat him first. Arthur gleefully pictures thieves opening the Gremory treasure chest. Even if they find it, and even if they know the password, they'll still be burnt to cinders unless they press the secret button on the back of it. First. Yes. And who might you be? My name is Arthur Gremory, and I'm an explorer, a treasure hunter, and geologist. I'm here because of a note and a broken seal, if you could believe it. Um, unless the note contained the outcry of a voluptuous young lady in distress, I see no reason to venture here now. That's quite the motivation, I grant you that. But no, it was fortune. I was promised. Fortune, you may seek in an old tomb. I see you know more than you let on. So let's get out of this pit of death and continue the hunt for gold and glory. Um, I met uh, George Grimmery in Broken Valley. Georgie, old boy. That's my brother. How is the rascal? Uh, knee deep in books and old rocks. Ha <laughs> ha! He always was the most diligent archaeologist around. At least he's safe and sound. Yes. <laughs> uh, do you have a sister named Catherine? I do, yes. You met her then? Yes. I hope she's doing okay, my good old Cathy. Last I heard, she set sail in search of undiscovered extinct animals. Paleontologists, eh? Doesn't she realize the seas are shockingly perilous? Uh, I'll write them off. My thanks again for rescuing me. Let's hope the other treasure hunters survive as well. XD. Interesting loading screen. I don't like that. Hmm. Interesting that it triggered the cutscene. Or oh, loading screen, I should say. Um, that didn't work. Um, I will restart the game really quick. Um, I will keep talking to you. Mm. Play developer mode. Yeah, we should be right back. Um. <laughs> I hope the recording will pick up, uh, the soft uh, OBS will pick up right. Um, yeah, and see. Um, the last save, it's uh, the quick save from four minutes ago. Okay, yeah, I did good using that save. Um, yeah. Okay, let's do this quicker now. Yeah, quick and dirty. Friend. 
Now that didn't trigger a cutscene. Um, interesting enough. And yeah, that uh, just seemed very off right there. That that would trigger a loading screen. Just one of these weird crashes this game still has. Um, yeah, but nothing we can do about it. Um, and that's that cave done. Maybe we got some better equipped this time. Mm, yeah, oh, another one. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Mm. Yeah, we should actually just put this on. We'll lose not much. And yeah, we gain 100 hit points, and that's that's uh, super good. Yeah. Another one to add to the collection. <laughs> How about we go and find the last grave robber? No. Now that we got the info about the uh, Grammy treasure chest, no wherever problem. that might be. Um, yeah, and the last one should be over in this general direction and should be. Where's the teleporter over here? Yeah. Um, Diary of the Great Adventurer Jimmy Dean. Let's see what Jimmy Dean's adventures look like. The seal is an amazing object. I never have I seen an item of such complexity. I don't know who the other three are that carry the missing parts, but when I find them all, they'll soon yield to their new leader Jimmy. The treasure will be mine, all mine. Hmm, that sucks. That sucks. Did it? Um, no, I don't think it was that. Somewhere low. Yeah, it's always a big problem in the Orbus Fjords. You don't find anything. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Good to see you again. Look, I found the entrance to the tomb. Have you found all the other explorers? Uh, you and Arthur are here, and I have the two other seal parts. So we're good to go. That's wonderful. Come, let's unite the seal. Yeah. Good. This is it then. Let's enter. Let's enter. Quick save. Really quick. Another one to add to the collection. Yeah, don't worry about me. Yeah, and this one. Now let's do something. We we'll do a save, so I don't do I don't miss it again. And then last we are in. Two croaked as they tried to find this grave. How ironic! The irony is lost on me, Arthur, but that's because this place seems to be outright empty. Ah, I don't think so. All the demons down under. So it is. What's going on? Here. Another note. It reads, Brave souls have come hither to a tomb most bizarre. Now your rule is a dither, courtesy of Belliger. Here is no treasure, no riches, no wealth. But despair not, my friends. You still have your health. Oh, that's just perfect, that is. I came close to being an imps hors d'oeuvre because of a practical joke. A uh, Belliger, I should have known. You met him? I always thought he was a fairy tale figure. I've met him like ten times. Well, I don't know about you chaps, but I'm off. I've had just about enough of this entire Yeah, I just leave it all to me. Right you are, Arthur. I'd like to go home and just forget about the whole affair. Goodbye, stranger. May we meet again under better circumstances. Yeah, that's not empty in here. They, they lied. So, just want, you want you to leave. But... Yeah, no, no, no. I know the riches. There's one rich and there's another rich. Rich. And yeah, now let's do a quick save. And a quick load. We take that every day. That was surprisingly easy. And let's do the other one.
So we're already over 30 minutes. Um, let me do this until I get uh, two. The reason why I have to look away from it uh, while reloading is because uh, once you look at it, the uh, rewards get generated. And therefore, if you quick save while looking at it, two guys, I said two, I will do two. Shiny. Easy as that. That's why you say it. And now we already have 11, but if you remember our item set. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 20, 22, 24. For one complete set. But Another here's the dragon skill book. Um, that's definitely a good reward. And adventuring for dummies part 3. <laughs> and of course there are some levers. And these ones will... Do the trick. Platform one. Mm. Platform two. Yeah, you can get up there. Mm. Up where? Let's see. <sighs> I know there's a reward in here, and probably there's another lever. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Get me. Didn't pull the most obvious one. And we got the so scorpion sword. Another piece for an armor set. Sadly, that's the armor set we can't complete. Because we missed two items already. Mm, yeah. Unlucky. Yeah. Let's set this to the battle tower as well. This will help. And yeah. Um, that's it for the episode, guys. Um, as always, I hope you enjoyed it, and I, w I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Um, as you might have noticed, episodes every day at 11 in the morning, European Standard Time. Um, yeah, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope I see you next episode, and bye.